Hello, hello, and welcome back everyone to Fallout New Vegas. Now, for today, I've decided that we are finally going to go take care of Vault 3 over here. Been putting it off for a while, mostly just mostly just because I forgot about it, to be honest. But, <laughs> but finally, I think it's time to go uh, be the... Be their day of reckoning, so to speak. What the fuck's going on here? Jesus! Shit. Shit! Ha! It's too early for this shit, man. I just woke up, started recording, now everyone's shooting at me. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. Excellent. Okay, okay. Put you on charge back, I will be taking that, even though I don't use those. I really sell them at some point, but when it comes to any ammo that's not like missiles, I tend to hoard it just because who knows, maybe one day. But, yeah. Slept much better last night. I think I was bitching in my last video about how I have not been sleeping well. Sleeping very good now. And thank God, because I think this isn't going to get uploaded until like December 22nd or something. But as I record it, it is Cyberpunk Day today! I am, what is it, like T minus 7 hours away from. Cyberpunk unlocking on Steam. I am so excited. I'm both really excited for the game. I mean, obviously, I, everyone's excited for the game. But I'm excited for the game, but I'm also really excited about... Shit, what it might... Uh... Ooh, I'm a here. About, what the, uh, about what the game might do for my channel. I think I've already said before that I'm going to be trying to... I'm gonna hopefully upload like seven Cyberpunk videos today, right after the game comes out. And I'm really hoping that being on that first wave of uh, videos for such a popular new game like this is really gonna get me some viewers. That's the big hope. I guess anybody. Eh, I guess maybe. <laughs> maybe on that note, I, ha I don't have to. Uh... Um preface everything by, oh, but I don't have an audience, because maybe by the time this comes out, I will. Who knows? That's the dream. We will see. We'll definitely see indeed. Uh -oh. Yeah? What's up, Veronica? What the fuck? Shit! Grenade! Whew! That was deadly. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here, folks? Goddamn, fiends are bitches. How is the NCR getting their shit pushed in by these guys? Fucking useless. You know, I say they're useless, and they seem to go out of their way to prove me right time after time. Uh. I see more red dots, hold on. <laughs> Shit, grenade! God, I fucking love this rifle, man. You know, I think I realized why this rifle's so good. It's because since it shoots a 308, it's basically like a semi automatic hunting rifle. And the hunting rifle is good, but its fire rate is definitely what holds it back a bit, in my opinion. Alright, I think we're good. 135 stim packs. I, I can deal with that. I'll gladly deal with that. Oh, hiccups. What I say, man? I always get hiccups right as I start recording this. It's bullshit. 
It's weird because I always record these like in the morning. Like I said, I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dumpster? Or cigarettes. I'll take that. Is it just me or is this a weird spot for a vault entrance to be? It's in like a garage here. Never seen any like this before. Whatever. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? I'm carrying Jet Psycho and other favors. Oh my. And I don't deliver to the help. If you're fucking carrying, just fucking say so. Yeah, deliver to the boss. Business as usual. Motor runners down in the maintenance wing. Straight through the door behind me, down the hall, down the stairs to the right. Hmm. We have a con coming through to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. Okay. The print is gonna be much tougher to push around with that new sheriff down there. Damn right it is. Sheriff Prim Slim knows how to get shit done. Ooh, first aid. Bobby pin, take that. What's a bobby pin doing in first aid? Er. Yeah, okay, never mind, fair enough. <laughs> I'm dumb. So I never actually talk to Motor Runner, I just kind of walk up and kill him all the time. So I'm curious what happens if we... What's in here? Locksmith readers. I already got a hundred lockpick. Don't need it. Don't need it one bit. What do you do? I think I got some bad shit. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, a terminal. Water leak. Hello everyone, I'm sorry to inform you that the small water leak that we detected a couple weeks ago appears to be more serious than we first thought. We are going to have to vent the pipes in that section to isolate the leak and stop the pressure from stressing the rest of the system. Unfortunately, this means that we are going to have to start rationing our water. My apologies, out, my apologies go out to anyone currently residing in one of the affected areas. We'll be working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. Dinner? Hi, Jenny. It was great getting a chance to talk to you. I'm glad to hear that things are going well for you. I'm curious if you'd like to meet me for dinner one day next week. I know we don't talk that often, but I feel like we really clicked last night. I hope you feel the same way. Looking forward to hearing from you soon, Vin. Hi there, Vinny. Last night was so much fun. I can't believe it took us this long to sit down and talk. Let's do that again very soon. Next time, maybe we can have breakfast together as well. Ooh. Hey buddy, thanks for the advice. Dinner went great last night. I'm not sure it would have been able to work up the guts to talk to her if you hadn't convinced me. Are you I owe you big time. I know you've come pretty I know you've been pretty stressed with the water issues, so if you need a break for some rec time, let me know. Okay. Interesting. What's this way? Quit your wine and Oh, this is where Motor Runner is. <laughs> a flying robot. Uh huh. Man, that must be fucked up. His name is Eddie, and he's pleased to meet your acquaintance. And this isn't where fucking Motor Runner is. Wait, didn't I kill Motor Runner? Was he not one of the. Wait, what? Was he not one of the bounties? I must be wrong. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon. Do you have anything from Red Rock Canyon to sell me? What happened to the residents? I guess it isn't a secret. Yeah, the residents of the vault are all dead. We killed them. <laughs> Funny thing is, they just let us in. We didn't have to force the doors or anything. Why did you move the fiends here? We needed some place to put down roots. I was having trouble keeping my people out of Westside. What's going on there? I try to keep my people out of West Side. Apart from trying to stay on good terms with the cons who do business there. That mean son of a bitch. That fucking mutant is more trouble to kill than to avoid. Having some place for my people to sleep reduces the chances of drifting into West Side. Uh <laughs> I have some chems that I can sell you. Ooh. I'm paying twenty caps each for jets Ooh. so I go or buff out. Ooh. 
All my jet. Okay, got anything else? Oh shit. Ooh. Nah, that's not actually. That okay much. then, what's your business now? Uh. Ooh, should I should I do it? Should I do it? Should I just send it? I think we're gonna do it. <laughs> you take care of me. <laughs> you don't look half tough enough. Ooh. <laughs> Pierces can be saving. Cool. I haven't had a good fight in a while, and it's been ages since Donnie and Marie had something they could sink their teeth into. <laughs> and then he turns his back on me. What is this guy thinking? Oh boy. Oh no, I failed Abba Dabba Honeymoon. Whatever will I do? Oh shit, sorry for <laughs> Veronica scared the shit out of me. What are you gonna do, huh? Eat your spleen. Eat my spleen. What even is a spleen? I've never really been too sure on that, I gotta be honest. Never been too sure. Look at that, you gotta love it. These guys just let me walk right in here, and then here I am. Maybe you guys should rethink your, uh, your foreign policy there. Don't let people in just because they uh, say they have chems. Is it a dread? Though I guess they won't have a chance anymore. They're all gonna be dead. Uh, hmm, let's see. I guess I'll use the plasma. Trusty plasma rifle, man. No matter how much ammo I use, I always seem to come up with a net gain everywhere I go. Jesus Christ, Veronica, get out of the fucking. Oh, so you just throw it on the ground, huh? Ah, shit! Jesus. Oh, sorry. God damn it, I keep shooting at Veronica. It's hard to tell it's her when she's all lit up in flames. I have to be honest here. Fuck! What the fuck is that thing? She's got DP-28! Hold on. A Silence 22 SMG and it looks like a DP-28. That is ridiculous. Ooh, there's a little hall here. Sweet. I gotta say, I love fighting fiends, man. They're so squishy. Nothing's more disappointing than when you fight, like, the Legion and the fucking armor threshold thing shows up, you know what I mean? These guys, don't, don't worry about that. They're all fucking naked. <laughs> ah, I love it. Like, I give a shit. Yeah. Fucking. I feel that, brother. Ooh, damn it. Ooh, ammo books! Quit your whining. So, who is all this writing directed at, though? I'm curious. Ooh, ammo. Yeah, I'll take the doctor's bag. I never use them. One day, I'm just gonna sell them all and make, like, a grand total of 200 caps, and I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Veronica, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure Veronica would get out of the way. Companions in this are much better than Skyrim, where they. You gotta fucking shout them down to get them out of the way. Tool cabinet? Damn it. 
I should have been collecting scrap metal this whole game, because at the boomer's base you can sell it to one of the guys there, but... I don't know, caps just isn't a big concern in this game. Oh, hiccups, 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 hic the fuck? Oh. I heard a, a phone notification that wasn't my phone, but I think it was my iPad. And it was in the other room too, so I was like... I was like, hello? Is someone breaking in? Someone broke in and decided to not turn their phone off. Master criminal right there. Must say, I am very happy about uh, this headset. I think I've gushed about it before, the one I used, the Sennheiser PC373Ds. Um, cause before them, I was really big into the, um, like, noise-canceling headphones. I guess you would call it, like, the closed sound stage. I'm not too, uh, I'm not a big audio geek, so I'm not too sure what you'd call it. I think closed sound stage is correct, though. Um, but these ones are open sound stage, which means I can hear, like, snap my finger right beside my head. I heard that perfectly. And I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. Because, uh... Oh boy, hold on. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I like it a lot more than... I thought I would. Oh, damn it. I may have fucked that up. I think I was supposed to come here first. Because this is where the ranger was. Oh well, hopefully he made his way back. Um... Shit, what was I talking about? Open sound stage. Oh yeah, this is nice because then also for doing these videos, uh, I can actually hear my own voice as I talk without having to loop the audio back through because that would just sound fucking weird to me. So, I don't know. Definitely glad I gave it a goo. That a good headset. And I think the mic is... The mic quality actually sounds much better than... Uh, like, the built-in mic on the headset sounds much better than I would have thought. I'm a big fan. Though, that being said, if I ever start making money on this whole YouTube channel, then I'll definitely get a better mic. I, I've always wanted to have one of those, um... Like, actual mics, like, on the stand, you know what I mean? Oh, let me just finish up the coffee here. Oh boy. Alright. Like we pretty much done all we have to do here. I just <laughs> I just like killing fiends, man. Like I said, they go down so easy. How can you not? It's free XP. Oh my god, Eddie's music is fucking glitchy. Are you gonna eat my spleen too? Oh shit! <laughs> Those reflexes I got, man. Disarm failure? Does that mean it's gonna go off? Oh my god. Go, Veronica, go. Does she at least have a power fist on? Oh no, she <laughs> oh she's using little Buster's uh um little like Buster's the weapon there, I think. Blood. Yeah. All right, you guys have fun. I'm gonna go check this out. Yeah. So what you're supposed to do is go up here before you talk to Motor Runner, and uh, the Ranger we're looking for would be sitting right there. But I'm a dumbass. Did it the wrong way. Didn't realize he would have, would have fucking just left. Because <laughs> here I thought he was too injured to move, but ooh, oh, I guess not. Jesus! What was that? Did I walk over a tripwire? Heh. <laughs> Idiot. Oh 
what have I done? I don't know. Made this vault a better place. That's what I say. Shit, what did I just pick up? <laughs> We're gonna have to take a trip to the Gunrunners after this, cause uh, I'm getting a little too heavy here. Oh boy. You like the sign of your own blood? Do I, man? What I don't like is all your repeated dialogue lines. Oh, this guy, this guy OD'd. Oh my god. <laughs> These people are insane. What is this one? This vault is fucking confusing, man. That's a lot of jet. Psycho buff out. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Anyone hide him? What do you think Major Dachi is gonna think when I tell him I wiped out all the fucking beans for him? Think he'll be impressed? Hey, you guys. Talk to Rick if you have something you'd like to say. Are you shitting me? Hey, yeah, you. Come give us a hand. Uh, I need to know. No, I need to know more about the vault. I don't know much. Only that the people who lived in here originally were killed by the fiends. Carter there escaped and managed to explore for a bit. He hacked a password off of the computer and found the location of some guns. He was on his way to get them when the fiends caught him again. <laughs> Give me the password or you're all gonna die in here. Fine. It isn't like it's doing me any good in here. You better come back though. Uh, what are you doing here? We were part of a caravan heading into New Vegas from down south. They're holding us hostage, trying to get some ransom. Anyone willing to pay for us died in the attack. Once the fiends figure that out, we're as good as dead. Uh, can you make it worth my while? I don't know. Carter told me oh, about fuck. some password he hacked out of a computer. I could give it to you if you help us out. Uh, I'll help you escape. Yeah, I already have a password. Help us out of here. Can you tell me about the fiends? They're a bunch of junkies that do whatever they can to get money for chems. I hear they're led by a guy calling himself Motor Runner. I think he's in one of the other wings, although I haven't seen him myself. Yeah, he's kind of dead now. Goodbye. Uh, you won't be seeing him, son. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. The NCR did not take back Nelson. I took back Nelson. God damn it. These idiots. I'm just going to explore this little area up here and then we'll let them go because I'd like to say it's because I'm a nice guy, but it's because I want experience. <laughs> Once I get to level 50, though. Well, once we get to level 50, the game's over, basically. <laughs> but... Eh. Unlock storage rooms. Weapon lockers. Uh, I'm not sure what Michael is planning, but I suggest that you leave the weapons in those two submerged storerooms. Ah, oh, fuck, they're submerged. <laughs> uh, I'm not going there. Happy birthday. Hi, Janet. How is the school year going so far? I've heard good things from your teachers. They say you are one of the top students in your class. Your birthday is tomorrow. Sweet 16 at last. Can you even believe it? It seems like yesterday my sister told me she was going to have a little girl. Do you have a big plans for your birthday? I think if you are interested, I could talk to some folks and get the dining room reserved for a couple hours. Ugh. Let me know if that sounds like fun. I'll start getting the ball moving. Uncle George. Is... Oh, Jesus. Mm. Excuse me. I keep yawning. Um... Is Uncle George one of these creepy uncles I keep hearing about? I don't know, man. I don't like it. Upcoming election. George, we've been friends for a while, so I hope you didn't take my candidacy for overseer personally. I'm going to do whatever I can to keep our friends and family safe, and if that means taking our exposure to the outside world slow and keeping to ourselves, outside of what we need, of course, 
and that is what I'm going to push for. No one knows what it is going to be like out there. There could be horrific mutants or strange wandering vagabonds, aliens, murderous gangs. We have no idea. Let's be smart about this. Mike. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Thank you all for putting your trust in me. I am honored to serve as your overseer for the next term, and hopefully beyond, I'm going to do everything I can to get Michael's committee outside as soon as possible. We'll get our water issues resolved and form lasting bonds with our neighbors in the world outside. Uh, that, uh... I don't think that worked out very well for him. Hunting rifle. God damn, they're still talking about Nelson down there? All right, I'll let you out. Shit, here we go. Thanks for the help. We'll find our own way out. Yeah, damn right you will. I'm not gonna babysit you out of here, though I am leaving as well. No need to worry. <sighs> oh man. More tired than I must have realized. But I think it's time to ah. head on. We'll go talk to Camp McCare in here. See if uh, see if they have anything to say about that. I think the one who asked me to go to Vault Three was actually um um. Is it Lieutenant Boyd, maybe? Or is that the one who was a spy? He was inside, in any case. I know where he is. Where I need to go. I haven't got any more bounties God for you. damn it. It's been quiet and calm since you last reported in. Yeah, because I've killed all the fiends for you, buddy. You're welcome. Ooh. Shit, there we go. The Congers. I hope this is his office. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Uh huh. Colonel yes, James Shoe or whatever. What? <laughs> Okay. Bye. All right then. No thanks for my help. That's great. That's great. That's what I like. All right. What else? Uh... <sighs> God damn. Yeah. I apologize. I keep yawning. I should really be muting my mic, but I'm too amateur, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna sell some stuff at the gun Welcome, real quick, sir. and then I'm thinking we could maybe go ahead and do some of the boomers quests. So I'll take a look through my uh, quest log there. Machete. Why do I have all this on me? When did I pick up all this shit? Ooh, ah, carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes, pre-war money. Ammo, missiles, missiles, flamer fuel. Okay. Miscellaneous ammo. Three oh eight. Fifty milligram, fifty milligram explosive. 12 gauge, that's what I like to see. Pulse slugs. Perfect. Still low on the 12 gauge. God damn it, they need to sell them more in bulk. More 12 gauge is needed. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Volair is probably the way to go. Because the only other quest we could really do is nothing but a hound dog.
No, nah, we'll do we'll do Volair to start. That sounds like a decent idea to me. What the fuck are you pointing that thing at? Hello. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, we'll go to all these quest markers first, pick up all our quests, and then... Hello? I don't like this. Why you... Why are you running? Sorry, I've got work to take care of. <laughs> okay, apparently... Look pretty busy there, dude. Another yawn. I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. Hey, don't you dare threaten Mother you. Mother Pearl's Eddie. instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. God, I keep trying to. I keep going to call Eddie Edie because I'm used to Edie from Mass Effect. But it's not Edie in this game. It's Eddie. Uh, if I do, you'll be the first to know. All I need is a pretext. What is it, Savage? Don't call me that. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a Savage can handle. What the But if you fuck? want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Who do you think I am? I can handle a few ants. God damn it. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Yeah, I'm sure oh, it'll be thing. a huge The ants issue. must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. <laughs> or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Alright, I can do that. What? Bitch was talking shit to me about my robot, but then they have a Mr. Gutsy rolling around? Hypocrites. God damn hypocrites. I can take care of that robot problem what? for you. Just saying. You are a robot! Oh my god. I don't know what to say about this. These people are fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. What is in here? Doesn't look like much. <laughs> Oh. Ah, here we are. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Uh, what do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work and robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Uh, what can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's gotta learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, <laughs> a real nice day. Recover a lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. I will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Hey! Hey there. Back for more? Looking for ways to help out. I'm just a helpful guy. What can I say? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that. Not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. <laughs> Tell me about her. 
Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Well, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. What if she doesn't like me? Uh, oh, we can do it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. I don't need thank yous forever, sir. Sup, oil. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Uh, Raquel said... You were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants? I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. <laughs> Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz. So it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Oh, no, 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 sir, what I need more. Sir, I'm talking more. What kind of ways to make myself useful? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? I can do that. Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones. And there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Uh, pass through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? <laughs> the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charge it. Uh, does he have anything All else right. to say? What's on your mind? Ooh. No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Damn it. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Time for me to go. Later. Uh, I sure hope, uh, <laughs> I can go to Helios 1 without anyone opening fire on me like I can take the NCR but I don't want my reputation with them to dip too badly at least not not yet not yet at some point we won't be as concerned uh, well that's quite the uh, quite the mural we got going there Did you paint that yourself buddy 100 BBs god damn so you're the outsider Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Oh boy, I'm so eager. Um, who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. Yikes. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Oh yeah, I want to know absolutely everything. Uh, let's see if he has any work for me first. Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Is it just me or does this kid sound a bit like Tails from Sonic Adventure 2? curious about that. Uh, I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> well, what's the point of having the keeper of the tale if there's no outsiders to hear it? Ever think about that there, Pete? Ages ago, Long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Well, that's lame. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. 
But there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost <laughs> one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Eddie, get out of the way. You're blocking the show. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Uh-huh. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. Damn. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive Ooh. ordinance upon ignorant savages. This is our <laughs> destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Are there details I want to know about? Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. <gasps> yeah, I got some questions. Ask away. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered. I've been 34. there, brother. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. <laughs> yeah, I love it when a grenade, <laughs> when I throw a grenade and it goes bang. <laughs> um, you're willing to risk it all for freedom. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? I'm surprised Nellis was empty when you found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago. Automatic? Leaving what? the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Uh, whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vaults. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? You can tell this kid is not reading the lines as intended. He said an automatic warhead? Dude. <laughs> How do you survive? Totally cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. God damn it, I don't have enough survival. The ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Oh my god, you're all cannibals. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Uh, what are howitzers? What's a howitzer? I'm doing an Air Force you're right. Base. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. The Howitzer Battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how has Nellis taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learned that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Oh, to slip the sh to slip the surly bonds of earth and dance amid the soaring birds. God damn. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? How did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base. With magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs? Yes. I don't know what a ballast in fact, is. that's exactly what ballast. Royal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. 
I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. To throw your voice? Bye. What? Is this dude talking about fucking Fusro dying? Danelle's workshop. We are gonna go help the doctor, because I believe that's the only thing left to do. Well, other than the quest we picked up. Medical station. Damn it. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. Uh, I'm looking for a way to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building Losers. a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I have a <laughs> lie. <laughs> I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. I don't know if I'd say extensive, but treat the affection. Ah! Yeah. I thought that man was done. Treat the patient. Excellent treatment. There was some fine doctoring. Damn right. I learned a thing or two from you. Yes, outsider? I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Damn Seems right we they could do. learn a thing or two from you savages. When it comes to medicine, at least. Uh, do you have any stim packs for me? We really don't have a need for wasteland currency around here. Damn it. We produce most of what we need. Fine. Bye. All right, and on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it off for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time where we will continue the Boomer's Quests. Bye for now.